Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Just filming a really small grocery haul. I'll be doing some meal prep for my partner, so I'll show you guys what I make. First off, we bought some jasmine rice. The 2 kilo bag was 5.30, 5.50 I think. 2 kilos of brushed potatoes. They were on sale for $4 for the 2 kilo bag this week. And half a cabbage. That was $3 for a pretty decently sized half cabbage. And then we also picked up some of the beef stir fry. You can see at the back there. I think it was $12 for 500 grams. I'm going to be making like some type of stir fry with that. And I'll show you guys that in the next clip. Here I've got some chicken thigh. Again from Coles because I haven't gone to Costco. Chicken thigh at Coles is I think $13.50 a kilo. Rock melon. I think that was $4 dollars or four dollars ninety for a pretty huge one and then here we got a really small capsicum capsicum was nine dollars a kilo and i also picked up this paprika i believe that was two dollars eighty so that's the small grocery haul next i'll show you what i make in this clip here i've just sliced up some of the red capsicum I'm using some of that thick teriyaki sauce I bought from a previous grocery haul, the stir fried beef, and I also have some fresh onions and some frozen green beans. And this is the finished product. I just served this on top of some white rice. So guys, this is a clip from I think last week, but I thought I'd just include the footage in this video. I'm just going to be using some of my zucchini that I purchased in one of my grocery hauls and I'm going to be doing some zucchini boats so what I'm doing is just taking out the insides of the zucchini then I'm gonna lightly cook it the insides I do take out and I put in the container and I'll use that for a different recipe so don't worry nothing's going to waste I'm not tossing that in the bin I'm going to be filling this with some of the domio spicy peppers um, tomato based sauce you can add in whatever sauce you like and I'll be topping that off with some of the pepperoni and cheese on top under the grill as well so here I'm just showing you guys what I use those are the pepperoni slices and that's the leftover sauce and in the next clip this will be the finished product so if those who are looking for a low carb diet this might be one of the suggestions you can add to your list so guys, on one of the weekends, I did make breakfast at home. So I cooked some potatoes, which I've diced up with some onion, carrot, salt, paprika, and a bit of garlic. And then I just cooked some eggs. I popped the yolk for my partner because he doesn't like runny yolks. Served with a little bit of bacon. Well, a lot of bacon for him because he loves bacon. For me, I did some sunny side eggs. One popped and one was perfect. Same thing with the hash and I only gave myself two pieces of bacon because I'm trying to reduce a little bit of my meat intake. So that was my breakfast. And on one of my other days, I just literally had rock melon for breakfast. As you can see, I just got a spoon and ate straight from the rock melon. Okay guys, in this clip here, I've just got some sliced sourdough bread with some cheese, tomato and pepperoni, which I toasted in the air fryer. And then in this next clip, I'm basically using up some leftovers. So I've got some chopped onion, chopped zucchini, chopped carrots, and I sauteed that in a little bit of water. And then I added in some spicy dolmio pasta sauce. And then I just sliced some sourdough bread, toasted it, buttered it, and I ate it with the little vegetable concoction I made there. Following day, I did have some of the leftover vegetable mix I showed you guys. So I just boiled some pasta and poured over the vegetable concoction and then topped it off with some of the spicy pepperoni. <laughs> also, I did want to mention I did have some bread with some Nutella and some crushed walnuts for breakfast on one of the days throughout the week. But I also like to have this as a sweet treat or like a snack as well. It kind of hits a spot when I'm craving something sweet and I'm getting a little bit of nuts in my diet as well. You could easily top this off with some banana or strawberries. That would be really nice with the, with the Nutella as well. And it will also be filling because you're having it with bread. Also, we did go out for dinner a couple of the nights throughout the week. Here, I went to a place called Yoon. I believe that's how you pronounce it. 
in the city, so near Town Hall Station. I got some spicy beef Wagyu noodles, which was absolutely delicious. I've also had the original one where there's no spice. It's just the beef, um, the Wagyu beef noodles. That was really nice as well. But I think I enjoyed the spicy version a little bit more. So that's what I had. And my partner had a combination noodle type dish. So it came with some silken tofu, some pickled veggies, some fresh chives. I think the signature chili oil sauce. And it also came with some pork mince mixture and on the bottom it did have noodles i thought it was really tasty because i did try his one as well and he thoroughly enjoyed it he did say it was a little bit on the oily end though for dessert guys i've been having crispy cream probably too much for my own good but crispy cream have a limited edition biscoff donut at the moment and i think i've had it three weeks in a row which is terrible but i've been on a massive donut kick and I highly recommend you try the Biscoff Donuts at Krispy Kreme. It's so delicious. And you can even get like a two donut and milkshake deal for $10.95. No, I'm not sponsored by Krispy Kreme. I just thought I would share it with you, share my experiences. And because I really like the Biscoff Donuts. Thanks for watching, guys.